out where we're watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high functioning and autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. This video, I'm going to introduce three characters. A hero, a villain, and an anti-hero. As far as I know, at least. Maybe I might be... Like, it might be a villain and two anti-heroes, it just depends. I hope you guys have some satisfactory as I introduce these three things to you. Just keep that in mind. Here's the first one. Clay Girl. Real name, none. Height, 6 feet 3 inches, varied. Weight, 345 pounds, varied. Status, anti-hero and master of clay. Base, mobile, intelligence, five brains. Behavior, flirtatious yet moody. She enjoys her own potential. Lethality, highly dangerous, either when angered or during a fight. Weaknesses, cold temperatures and being rivaled. Powers, she's made entirely out of clay. She can project streams of clay from her hands can change parts of her body into weapons, can spawn clay servants, and possesses notorious strength. She could also bring random statues to life for as long as she desires. Eyes and hair light brown. Origin One time, Sand Girl and Swamp Girl were fighting Captain Slime in the heart of the BMC Sky Carrier until the two were knocked together creating a woman of clay who's known since as Clay Girl. After the fight, the master examined her and found that, like Kailasa, Clay Girl is the genetic merging of Sand Girl and Swamp Girl. Later, Clay Girl helped the Alpha Trio stop Voodoo from making her army of skeletal ex-soldiers to destroy the U.S. Surprisingly, Clay the noble henchman of Voodoo had eventually betrayed his master for a time due to falling in love with Clay Girl, who persuaded him to help them out. Outraged by her abrupt betrayal, Voodoo stripped the life force out of Clay, making him go inactive until he was forgiven. Afterwards, Quantum granted Clay Girl with the ability to become her own person apart from Sand Girl and Swamp Girl. Since then, Whenever there's some trouble going on, Clay Girl would always be willing to help. Costume. She's composed of solid clay. Teams, solitary or with others. Original inspiration, DC's Clayface. Here's the next character, which is guaranteed a villain. C. Rex. Real name, Colossosaurus Rex. Height, 1,000 feet. Weight, unrevealed. Status, Villain, and Ruler of Jurassicus. Base, Jurassicus, Mobile. Intelligence, Five Brains. Behavior. Menacing and Destructive. She'd always be willing to spread chaos in her attempts to spread her territory. Lethality. As above. Weaknesses. Betrayal. She's also cold-blooded. Powers. She has great size and strength. Sharp claws and teeth. Wings that allow flight, can produce a shriek that's heard across a galaxy, acute senses, a strong healing factor, and a breath organ that grants her with breath-based weapons. She can also survive unaided in space. Eyes, vivid magenta with vertical pupils, hair platinum white in a short bob. Origin One time, Cosmic decided to create another being that involves the genetic merging between Colossa and Dragonoid. She soon created an alternate version of Earth where a creature known as C-Rex had turned the planet into a world of jungles, which is since named Jurassicus. Eventually, Wizard made the mistake of discovering Jurassicus and thus made C-Rex realize that there is life on other planets. She later traveled to the default Earth, where she rampaged until getting defeated by Kyjericus. Utterly anguished of her first defeat, 
C-Rex is since plotting to spread her territory and is recently the lover of Jabberwocky, despite that he's scared of her. Costume. She's mostly covered in green scales. Teams. Solitary or with other villains. Original inspiration. Colossa and Dragonoid. Here's the last character, just so you know. Pinky. Real name, Cassie Wardens. Height, 365 feet. Weight, 25,000 tons. Status, anti-hero and mayor of Tokyo York. Base, Tokyo York, California, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, witty and confident. She'll do anything to gain popularity. Lethality, extremely dangerous. She's very persistent. Weaknesses. She isn't entirely careful when it comes to her powers. Powers. She has enormous size and strength, martial arts, and extreme beauty. She's also a good judge of character, has uncanny reasoning skills, and possesses a photographic memory. Eyes greenish blue, hair deep pink, and big tails. Origin. Cassie Wardens was an intellectual teen who was the most popular girl in the city of Tokyo. During her senior year, she was captured by Neuron and took into her lab in another scheme. Soon, Neuron successfully transformed Cassie by making her 365 feet tall, along with an unintended side effect that permanently gave her pink hair. Renaming her as Pinky, Neuron brainwashed Cassie and forced her to spread disaster in Tokyo York. However, Pinky was defeated by the combined teamwork of Humonga and Big Bunny, who also disabled her brainwashing. Realizing what she did, Pinky felt that she would lose her popularity and decided to prevent it from happening. Since then, Pinky was a successful defender of Tokyo York and was even marked as the city's new mayor, much to her joy. Costume. She dresses in casual wear. Teams, solitary or with other heroes. Original inspiration, popular girls. Well, those are the three characters I'll introduce. And um, I just hope that I would be able to uh, make things work in terms of the seven day time lapse. Because last I checked, 21 views in seven days, which is a bit of a plummet. But other than that, I have now successfully made it past. I now have over um, 5,000 views so far. Last I checked, 5,014. And I also made two new illustrations, even though I haven't posted them on my blog yet. This is a picture of Dentrony. I was supposed to uh, give her a... Uh, like a sleeveless outfit and I also it just transferred into becoming um, a tropical casual wear so this is her picture you could tell me whether or not it's better than the first picture of her that I've made I'm just hoping for decent stuff you know and the other one has nothing to do with my Leviathan universe it's fan art, and it's a crossover scenario between two legendary cinematic curses. The Smile from 2023 Smile versus The Follower from It Follows, both of which are very devastating curses and quite feral, I have to say, you know? I hope it's um, impressive. I tried my best to make the characters cinematically accurate. You know? I hope you guys are having a decent um, November. And the next video I'll be making, it would be during the Thanksgiving celebration, as far as I know. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. It's your choice. You don't have to. And I hope you guys have a fine Thanksgiving and such. And until next time.
Interesting.